Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Brother Hobby Avenger 2816 1050KV motor. In this video I'm going to go over the specs of this massive motor, which is the biggest one that I've tested so far, and then go over the results of the frost test which was done using my new RC Benchmark 1585 frost stand. As for the fun part, the flight footage, it is going to be up soon, probably next week, after I'm going to feature both motors and Catalyst Machine Work Micro America 9 inch frame in a build and flight video. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box along with the motor, you're getting 4 M3 screws, which might be sufficient for arms with a thickness of 4 mm, but definitely not for 8 mm thick arms, like the carbon fiber arms of the Micro America. You're also getting a metal 1.4 mm thick washer that features a grip pattern on its bottom a nylock aluminum nut with a thickness of 4.5mm and another one with a thickness of 5.9mm. The motor itself features 25cm long 18 gauge silicone coated wires which are going to be enough for a 10 inch build. It supports up to 6S batteries when pushing 10 inch propellers. The motor bell is of course secured using a hex screw and here you can see what it looks like after separating the motor bell from the stator. The diameter of the hollow motor shaft is 5.9 mm. The height of the propeller shaft is 16.5 mm. And on the top side of the motor bell, you can find a grip pattern for the propeller. As for the stator, its height is 16.3 mm. Its diameter is 28 mm. And the motor mounting pattern is 19 by 19 mm. Finally, the weight of the Brother Hobby Avenger 2816 motor, including the full length of the motor wires, is 93.3 grams and it is slightly heavier than the iFlight Zinc 2814 motor, even though its stator volume is about 14% greater. The next thing that I've done is to bench test the motor using 8, 9 and 10 inch HQ props propellers. Due to output power limitations of the power supply, in some of the tests I used the power supply in order to make the test consistent and in the rest where I couldn't, I used batteries. And in addition, due to maximum burst current limitations of the thrust end, some data is not available. The setup that I plan to use is a 6S battery and 9 inch propellers. When the throttle was set to 90%, the maximum measured thrust was about 3.4 kilograms and the measured current was about 51 amperes. Based on this data, I can estimate that using a 60 ampere 4 in 1 ESC is going to be sufficient, and in case you would like to stay on the safe side, you can limit the motor output power to 90%. Based on this data, we can also see that the motor is more efficient when using 9 inch propellers in comparison to 10 inch propellers, and it pretty much aligns with my initial assumption that this motor is better for 9 inch propellers, and in case you would like to use a 10 inch setup, you will need to get probably slightly bigger motors. I'm going to wrap up this video with the bench test of this motor, and of course, all the thrust test results are included in the description box down below, so if you'd like, you can check them out. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye. Yeah. Mm -hmm.